Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Bill Holland, and we are live in New York at Fall AES 2007. I'm here with Gene Williams from FreeSonus. What are we looking at now? You were talking about the um, the FP10 over here, but you were saying that's now been taken over by something else. Something else has taken its place, and it's moved on to uh, better things with the uh, Mega Studio producer. So, what has replaced that? Uh, it's not necessarily been replaced so much as updated. You can still get FP10s either by themselves or in Mega Studio Producer, but if you wanted to update the latest, greatest thing, we now have Fire Studio Project. And what we're looking at here is the same type of configuration, eight mic pre's, uh, quarter inch or XLR, as well as the spit if ins and outs. Some of the updates that make it very cool, we now have phantom power for every two inputs and LEDs on each of the channel. So a little bit of metering looks really, really nice. Uh, some of the more techy upgrades, we use the TC Electronics DICE 2 chipset, uh, the only FireWire chipset built specifically for audio. And we have the Jet PLL clock. Um, it has some ridiculously low picosecond rating of jitter. Basically, sounds really, really good. We also upgraded the mic pre's to the X-Max mic pre's. Um, the old FP10s are great. These are just awesome. They just sound really nice. Last but not least, we include in this one the DSP mixer. And what that does is that allows you to set up up to five different stereo headphone mixes, all playable back through the Fire Studio project. Well, it sounds great. That looks really, uh, definitely, a, not necessarily an improvement, but you've definitely taken a step further. And it's great to hear that the TC Electronics chip is in there, because that's anything more audio specific in terms of uh, chipsets great to hear. So thank you for showing that to me and uh, we'll be back with more from Fall 2007 AES in New York. I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com.